r slash r credit by redmond detes what's a red flag in a tv show that tells you it's about to go downhill the main protagonist leaves and they keep it going they introduce a younger cuter version of the baby of the family the show is really good and about to get a third season on netflix when you're in season 6 of the series, and the novels, that the series is based off of hasn't had a definitive ending written yet. Or when the show writers drift significantly away from the source material, even when they still, have plenty to work with. They suddenly introduce a long lost cousin, and they start flashback episodes. When characters start ignoring earlier developments, or start getting dumbed down from established norms, simply to push an arc forward. Ruining the main character's character growth for the sake of drama. Random hookups that make no sense. Secret child that shows up right when a character's life is just about to come together. I'm looking at you Gilmore Girls. Villain decay. When a villain loses so many times in a row you can't take them seriously anymore, you know too much about them and their weaknesses, etc. When a character on water skis jumps over a shark. A normal realistic show getting sci-fi-esque. Like someone coming back from the dead, a ghost, whatever. They move it to like Friday night. When they make one of the lead characters have a baby. Nothing wrong with babies, but when a show decides that lead needs to have a baby, they are running out of plot ideas. When a very likable and well written character is axed, in lieu of a very unlikable and poorly written character. When they bring on a guest star, who was big a decade ago, and hasn't been really active since. When there's a sci-fi or fantasy element that allows for timeline changes or hidden identities or other things that make the whole reality kind of meaningless. The cute kid grows up, so another cute kid appears. When the characters become caricatures of themselves over time. Ned Flanders was in the beginning of The Simpsons an average ideal citizen. In the later seasons, he became this absolute Christian maniac. A character introduced that adds nothing to the bigger arc. Usually kids in sitcoms. Kiss of death. Sam in different strokes, Andy in family ties, Chrissy in growing pains, even that little nuisance Billy on who's the boss. The lead male and female characters finally hooking up. When there are filler episodes of just dialogue. Walking Dead was the main culprit of this. We are going to war, but we are gonna talk about it for 6 episodes first. When the protagonists start running into the same situations and problems with mild variances. Like the audience can't see that they've already encountered this 4 times in the last 3 seasons. When most of the original cast has left the show. I'm looking at you, Sliders, and more recently, NCIS. A long-awaited ship finally becomes a couple, get married, and the woman is turned into a bitch, because apparently that's what women become when they are married. I hate what happens to Daphne in Fraser. The new writers didn't do her character justice. When they start cobbling together footage from past episodes, and call it a flashback episode. A two-year break in production. When characters suddenly act out of character for plot convenience, it's a red flag. When a show suddenly has musical episodes or dream sequences, that's my cue it's heading downhill. It feels like they're running out of ideas and trying too hard to keep things fresh. It's usually a sign that the show's lost its original charm and direction. It's a Netflix original. Downhill might be the wrong word, I would just never get invested, as I know it's going to get cancelled. But, two characters finally get married. Worse, they have a baby. That's all folks. 
Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more. Have a nice evening.